Okay. Hey everybody, it's Casey Van Gogh. I'm here you guys are having an amazing day. So we are continuing with episode three of The Legend of Vox Machina. Without further ado, um, remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions uh, to TV shows, movies, and video games. Yeah, we're not going to linger too much. I want to watch the third episode. So let's just jump straight into it. Chaos still reading. Hmm? Wait. Is she having a vision or Yeah. Are you okay? Oh. No. The dragons, they're moving. Expanding across Teldore. Red one. The others called him Thordak. He just... Oh, he's red? I thought it was black. <laughs> Good stuff first. I found the lake Osisa told us about over the next ravine. Fantastic. Nice. Let's go. Wait. Sorry if you're seeing stuff. Just checking if it's recording. Ooh. No tomb. Maybe it's under the water? <laughs> oh my god, there's something under the water. Charge the old scan juice. Oh! <laughs> Um that would be us. Zara! She said thought you might need our help. Obviously she was right. Oh generous. <laughs> so generous. <laughs> the tomb was built for the matron of ravens, the goddess of death. It enshrines the body of her ancient champion, the highest of her order, striking fear into the hearts of her enemies. His name was Pervon. Pervon! Zul gave up everything for his god. She won't let her treasures go so easily. Uh, <laughs> they followed us. We obviously can't trust them. Zara and Cash. No. We can't take any more chances to my family. <laughs> from me the meaning behind that oh my god i can't oh I, otherwise i'll start crying i can't oh oh what are you doing oh god oh sorry father i just of course you and your diluted brother don't understand elven culture you weren't born into it you are nothing but a mistake that's enough don't you dare talk to her like that their backstory and their story as well. So beautiful. I cannot wait. This is very cool. <laughs> Good old Krog. Hi. Lucky I was here. <laughs> I am. Vax. My baby! Oh god, not again! Ah! If you gave father a chance, you'd see. I'd see what I've seen a thousand times before. There's nothing we'll do will ever be good enough for him because of what we are. I'm not helpless, you know. Sorry, of course you're not. It's just you don't need. Stop telling me what I need. I don't need rescuing, and I don't need you. Oh. Oh, hi. Oh, Grog. <laughs> Cutie. I love Pike and Grog, the best duo. Damn, I make this look good. <laughs> Oh god. <gasps> no, the beard. Not the beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh 
Oh god. Oh god. And they've got a mage. Last one's always the dumbest. Oh! Nice, Vex. You impressed? Cause you fucking should be. Yes, yes, you're very clever. Um, what was that? Like some kind of fish orgy. Ooh. No. Rock, fuck's sake. She'll find something, Trinket. Oh. What have we here? Don't touch it. Oh. Well, that's promising. The Deathwalker's ward. Oh. Almighty, oh, I was wondering why they were showing flashbacks. So I was like, Oh, yeah, this is cool. They're just showing this story. And the moment that tomb came up, I was like, Hold on. And the and she when she looked back towards Vax, like where Vax had fallen down, not fallen down, but dropped down. Then I was like, Wait, oh my god, wait, wait, wait. And then, God damn it, it happened so quick. Oh my goodness, Vax, oh. Vex. I keep mixing it up. Vax and Vex. Vex! My girl! Oh. And, oh, dude. Liam O'Brien just delivering the, this entire episode as well. Just... And Laura Bailey, of course, as Vex. Jesus Christ. Both of them. The twins. So, let's start from the beginning with episode one. Episode one, fantastic opening. I said it in the first reaction. It was so, so good. Very... Very well done, especially jumping back into the, like that chaos of like all the dragons arriving and then seeing all of them. That was just crazy. Um, and then I love how we did get to see like all the dragons like in using their elements and stuff and even like their personalities. Especially, I think it's Thordak. I thought it was a black dragon. It's a red dragon. My bad. Um, it looks like a black dragon, unless I'm messing up the thing. But you guys can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, but. So cool, and the king, the Cinder King or whatever his name is, so cool, and he's the voice actor, I realised, I don't know his name, but his voice is so familiar that I was like, wait, who is it? He's the guy from Horizon Zero Dawn and Horizon Forbidden West. Yeah, that episode was great. Second episode, like I said in the previous reaction as well, I love how there was, like, a challenge in terms of, like, um the insecurities of each of these heroes, but also, like, their greatest fear. Not insecurity, greatest fear. Um, and especially, oh, the one with Scanlan where it was like, no one cares about you, not even me, and then it just goes black. It's just like, oh shit, like, my god. Like, and even, like, Scanlan, you can tell, like, that has, like, you know, he's like, oh, that's, that's cold. But then it's like, that's the worst fear ever, and it's so well done, especially just because it's just like, no one cares, and then there's just silence. <gasps> so sad, but so good. I also said it last time, but I love how we get Grog in the spotlight. We're getting it a lot this, like, last three episodes, which is good. Um, especially the last two. Um, we obviously got to see him fight that, um, man in the Stormlord Temple. Um, and that was really cool, because again, I feel like that's a challenge for Grog, and I feel like if he went up near the Sphinx, it wouldn't have really been the same. Um, I feel like 
fighting is a language that he understands, so that was very well done. And then this episode, oh, that sword is so dark and dangerous and just... <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> bad news. And then, obviously, we got um, Zara and then also... What's his name? I always forget his name. K K Kishore? Yeah, I think that's his name. I'm really terrible with names. My brain's not working at 100% today. But I love them and their voice actors. Oh my god. And the people who actually... They played in the game as well, actually, as those characters. And then we... <sighs> We had the beautiful flashbacks with Vex and Vax um, and just all their stories, especially with their father. We, we're we probably going to see that story a lot more fleshed out later in the season, but there's a lot of stuff to do with that later on in the series. And I'm, I'm really excited to see if they do touch upon that. Well, I, I think they will because there's a certain scene that does come up, so that'll be interesting. But... Yeah, again, I didn't think any of it would happen, like, now, especially that last scene. I didn't expect that scene to happen so quick again when the tomb happened, and then, like, when the tomb came up, and then you open it, and you see the cloak. It's like, oh, yeah, and then, especially when Vex looked back towards where Vax had dropped down, it was like, wait, hold on a second, wait, wait, and then the spell went off, and I was like, no, it's this scene, oh, God, like, oh, it's the worst, but... It's, yeah, I, I'm excited to see the next episode because I, re I remember this scene vividly, like, when watching the actual, like, stream live. Oh my god, the tears I had running down my face. But again, Liam O'Brien, every time, dude, I love him so much. He's such a, an emotional bean, but he's such a good voice actor, just, like, he's so, so good. And Laura Bailey as well, just fantastic. All of them are, but them two, I don't know, they always stand out as Vex and Vax, just... They're two of my faves, so they really delivered on this episode. And I like that they kept them even as the young voices too, they didn't change them. Like, oh, just, I I love, the armor looks sick, by the way. The one, the vestige of Divergence, that looks sick. They really brought justice to it in the animation style. It's really beautiful, but, oh, we're gonna have to deal with Vex's death in the next episode. <laughs> That's gonna be so hard, but, uh it's gonna be good because um yeah there's a lot of emotional stuff that does happen in terms of like that part I don't want to um uh spoil it for anybody in case every anybody's new here watching the reaction so I'm gonna leave it there holy crap though it's great to be back watching Vox Machina I literally thought especially when they announced it I was like oh my god like it's so quick. When they announced it, like, oh yeah, like, right afterwards, I was like, wait, season two already? Like, that's the fastest thing I've ever seen happen. Like, they obviously were working on it post, like, or during season one as well, but I think with also the success that it got, it was like, oh yeah, season two as fast as possible because it makes sense. So thank you guys so much for watching this uh, reaction. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on all three of the episodes, whether it's here or on the other other episodes if you want but this was so great to start the season off again such a good episode and a cliffhanger again oh god now i already put a post about it on my youtube channel and on twitter but scheduling wise these episodes and reactions are going to come out on a saturday just because like i said friday is my office day and when i come back i'm quite tipsy and i'm very tired so I am just, I, I can't deal with that every week coming home and then reacting. And by the time I get home, it's like 10 o'clock too. So I'm like, eh, I'm very tired. I want to just chill. <laughs> so yeah, Saturdays is when my Vox Machina reactions are going to come out. If you guys could support that, I would really, really appreciate it. So for now, I'll see you guys in the next reaction. Oh yeah, Last of Us. Oh yeah, that's another thing. If you guys want to see more videos, my another reaction that's happening at the moment on Mondays, which I'll react to it on Monday, of course, uh, is The Last of Us. So The Last of Us episode two is coming out on Monday, of course, but episode one is already up on my channel. So if you want, go check that out. For now, thank you guys so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Bangle out. Woo!